Nancy Pelosi and Steve Mnuchin have a secret negotiated meeting at which an agreement is reached late today. It's not about your checks, but it now sets up the path to get checks and stimulus package approved, potentially, next week. Hey, good evening, everybody. This is LLA, and I'm very excited for you. Congratulations. As one of the major developments that I have ever reported on this channel, and certainly in the last seven days, happened minutes ago. If you've been subscribed to this channel and you watch my videos on a regular basis, you understand the importance of what come, what was at stake coming into tonight. This is evening's LLA, our one-hour programming box that starts every night with a check. And tonight, for the first time ever, I will be answering your questions to last night's Q&A question. I ask you to drop your questions about PUA, UI, stimulus, and EIDL, and I'll be answering them in that video coming right up after this one. So don't miss that. Tune in. And certainly, if there's ever a video to like and subscribe to, this is the one. 10,000 likes. Let's go for it. Let's get to the insanely great news tonight. Nancy Pelosi and Steve Mnuchin had a secret negotiated meeting, and during that meeting reach an agreement. More about that element in a second, which is an incredible development unto itself, but the end result is what's so incredibly great tonight. Nancy Pelosi and Steve Mnuchin reach an agreement not about your checks, but about something that was impeding the ability to reach an agreement about your checks. It is the th September 30th government shutdown deadline bill. Remember what I've been detailing on this channel for weeks, that members of Congress come back in a section next week, one part of Congress is next week on the 8th, and the other one's on the 15th, and that they only had 15 days to do a second stimulus check and package deal. But in that same time frame, they also had a government shutdown bill to do. Moreover, there was comments by Mark Meadows that Nancy Pelosi was trying to anchor stimulus negotiations into a government shutdown threat and use a government threat down, shutdown threat as a way to get her second stimulus package approved the way she wanted to. In essence, using the looming threat as a way to drag this out even further. Boy, that was then, and then came this. Steve Mnuchin and Nancy Pelosi had a secret meeting today and reached an informal agreement for what's called a stop gap. The stop gap says that they will, one, reach an agreement that the federal budget is now effectively done. They don't have to work on it for the next 15 days. They can just work on stimulus. Oh, boy. Two, that the stop gap won't be tied to stimulus. So no one will say, uh, you know, um, give me this and I won't shut down the government. No, they're keeping the government issue done and done, like a nice firm mistake tonight. Boy, this is incredible good news because all that excess baggage that we didn't need around from us is gone and we're just doing stimulus. Oh, Boy, we need every minute of every moment to get stimulus done for you to get those checks and FBUC and all that wonderful stuff, maybe hazard pay, maybe rent, and now it's all teed up. Well, let's get to the incredible details. First, after, you know, what has it been? Four weeks of Nancy Pelosi and Steve Mnuchin not talking. And Nancy Pelosi really taking character assassination hits on Mark Meadows saying he wasn't her lead negotiator, she wouldn't want to talk to the staffer, that he was just sort of a flunky, sort of an add-on, that he was a new staffer at the White House that just became chief of staff just a few weeks ago, which is true, um, that she only wanted to talk to the chief negotiator, Steve Mnuchin. Well, guess who really put the uh into the situation? That's the wonderful, wonderful um, 
representative uh, from Maxine Waters from Los Angeles who said, get your butts back to talking and call Nancy and say, I told you to call her. Thank you, Maxine. Well, Maxine's little shout, literal shouting, I'm not shouting to you because I don't want to break your audio levels on this recording, worked. Steve Mnuchin called up Nancy Pelosi, said, hey, want to do stopgap? Want to get a deal done for uh, federal government so we can just focus on stimulus? Nancy said, yes, yes. And we won't tie it to stimulus. We won't, you know, anchor it as stimulus or use it as a way to get to, to, to push against stimulus against the competitor. Yes, let's just keep it by itself. Let's get it done. We'll just make it very simple. We won't make it complicated, which is the exact words that they said uh, thereafter. Really great. Now, what's also really great was, one, they had a negotiation. Two, I mean, the negotiation to itself is incredible great news because these are people who haven't talked in three weeks, four weeks. Two, they did it privately. They didn't announce they're going into a negotiation. They just did it. Three, they didn't issue press releases afterwards. If you've noticed me, me notice my reporting over the last couple of days, every time she talked with Mark Meadows, she would issue a press release before she talks with him, after she talks with him, calling him all these names. It was just getting become very petty, on top of petty before. This time it wasn't a press release. This time it was just a little slide out into a into a into the into an online news publication, a little comment off the record. It was just very calm and relaxed. Wonderful. So, so professional. <laughs> uh, but it is the, still the Temple of Doom. So let's, not, let's, not get it, let's not get it twisted. It's still the Temple of Doom, and there's still bats that fly in there, and there's a, there's a vampire that serves you linguine at 9 o'clock every night. Uh, but let's get to the details. Now you can get your second stimulus check and stimulus package approved because you're not dealing with all this other crap. Of course, if you did watch my videos earlier today, you did see that there's you know two uh, Democratic House committees that are trying to do more scandals this afternoon. I, 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 yeah. There's one with the post office. There's another one with, um, with the RNC convention. It's just, okay, but that's over there. Let's just let's just ignore that for now. Let's just focus on what's really good, which is the onset of a wonderful new bill next week. The next, the bill next week is what Steve Mnuchin wants. Steve Mnuchin detailed extensively yesterday. He detailed the day before. All his comments were consistent with what I've been reporting for over a week. Remember, before they told anyone, I said this is what they're going to do. And guess what? It's exactly what they're going to do. So we know now Mnuchin, Meadows, McConnell, um, House Republicans, the White House, everyone is on book with this. We also know that the Democrats Democrats are on book with this generally. Um, the Temple of Doom wants to act like she's not, but um, the reason why she's not is because what's going to happen next week is a two-phase two -phase, <laughs> two -phase bill. You're going to have one bill next week. I was I originally had said, I mean, just two hours ago, I said that phase two is going to come in October because we had to do the the government budget bill next. Now you don't have to. So guess what? You can do phase one next week. You can do phase two the week after that. Oh, my God. The incredible news. If you have not liked this video, you did like it pretty soon. Uh, so phase one is $500 billion. Phase two is six hundred fifty billion, or as some other channels said, I don't know what's going on next week. I don't know what's in there. I, I tell them to watch me. Just tell them to you know watch me, and then just give a little credit at the end. Uh, next week's bill is five hundred billion. It includes your stimulus checks. It includes FBUC. It includes everything that you need to get in your pocket. Amen. Oh my goodness. Then phase two, which is six hundred fifty billion, could potentially include hazard pay. Could potentially include state and local. Could in potentially include rent grant. I think it's going to include rent grant. I mean, it's highly the things that are highly likely in the second bill because Steve Mnuchin said he's in favor of. Because Steve Mnuchin has already said on Squawk Box no more, less than three weeks ago. Remember that broadcast where I actually went for I typed verbatim what he said and I detailed it to you. He said he wants to give money for for food stamps. He says he wants to give money. Um, for PPP. He wants money for PPP. He says he wants money um, uh, for, for you know, fire and rescue and first responders. The president said that. So there's certain things that we sort of know that they, oh, he also said he wants money for, for rent. So there's certain things we know he wants, but we also know 
he doesn't want them next week. He wants them in phase two, which follows thereafter. So the good news is, um, oh boy, I just, I'm just so excited for you. It, it, it's that we are back on path for normality. Now, I know what you're thinking. I know exactly what you're thinking. Well, does this mean we're going to have to deal with Temple of Doom once again? Does this mean that she's back in the picture? Does that mean we have to go to that house and, you know, talk to the bats and, you know, go go sit in the jacuzzi with the dinosaurs? Uh, no, it doesn't mean that. It just means that someone might slowly be coming to their senses and that once the bill that's introduced next week that's going to get approved by the senate because the senate's dom dominated by republicans will likely get l more um <laughs> normality from the temple of doom people have asked me because it's i know it's this is not a political science channel uh this is not a politics channel and people have been asked to be explain where these things move and how they operate okay so a bill has to be approved by both the senate and the house it can approve be approved first in the senate and then at the house or it can be approved first in the house and then the senate ultimately after both houses of congress approve the bill then it goes to the president and the president can approve it or not approve it. If he doesn't approve it, he vetoes it. This president's made very clear that if it's not what he wants, he's going to veto it. So that's why Steve Mnuchin, who's Treasury Secretary to Donald Trump, is actually in the room negotiating, pushing for what in the stimulus package, because the president's going to say whether or not he's going to sign it. Understand as well, if you've watched my video specials over the last couple of days in which I detailed the nuances of what happened to the first stimulus package, after that first stimulus package was done, Steve Mnuchin was widely praised as, even by Democrats like um, Jamie Dimon, who many think would be Joe Biden's Treasury Secretary if, if he wins. Jamie Dimon said, no one, no Treasury Secretary in the history of the United States could ever get a first stimulus package done as quickly as Steve Mnuchin did. But after it was done, but President Trump is widely reported as having called Steve Mnuchin into the Oval Office and saying, how dare you? I'm so furious with what you gave them. So there's always that. Um, this time around, Mark Meadows is part of the negotiations. He wasn't part of the negotiations for that stimulus care one, but he was in, er, in subsequent negotiations. The irony of the situation is, though, that there are Senate seats up for re-election. There are House seats up for re-election. So this is different than March. Mitch McConnell has been hammering this point. So what's really important is that senators absolutely have to do something. They can't not do something. Temple of Doom's idea of not doing things is not going to help her party, which wants to take the Senate. So they can't not approve anything because ultimately not doing anything as a Democrat sitting there and saying, I'm not going to vote on the Republican Senate bill will absolutely implode them come the fall election. It's just not going to work. They can't do that. So the good news is you're going to see more movement towards bipart bipart bipartisan support by 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 product <laughs> by product um especially at a hair salon that really cares nice by by product <gasps> lots of product anyway there we go fpuc is going to come back fpuc is coming back 2.0 it's going to come back it's going to be in the bill next week and so are your checks i've done the, the check so many times and i you know I, I wonder how many times I need to repeat it, but there's always someone who asks what's going to happen with this. So let me repeat again. $1,200 check for single individuals, married couple, $2,400, uh, family of four to family of five, depending on how it's written. Um, dependents will get a check. Unlike the first stimulus package, this is really great news. The amount of the dependent checks still up in arms, still up for debate. <laughs> It's a better expression. $500 or $1,200, still not known. Also, the issue of child support. Republicans do want to take it out, child support. Democrats don't want to take it out. Moreover, as I said to you, what's going to happen next week is going to be very fluid. So you may see something on one day, and it could be totally different the next day. I want you to be totally relaxed and calm and just like in a Zen state because you may see $500 for a dependent check on one day and it may revert to $1,200 after negotiations the next day. FPC is coming back 2.0. Hey, 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 back in the groove. It's going to be retroactive. It will be back to the last date at which FPC expired. It will likely be $400. It'll be the bridge gap between LWA and FPC. So if you got FPC, if you got LWA, three hundred dollars a week, then for that week you won't get 
300 of LWA plus FPUC, that's highly unlikely. You'll just get the difference of the two things. Very simple. And if you're in those four or five states that got the $100 supplement, you that seems to not be a factor. That's just something the states gave you. Those states, of course, now are uh, Kentucky, Montana, Kansas, West Virginia, and Vermont. Finally, more great news about LWA. Now paying five weeks in some states like Texas. Yes, five weeks retroactive. Other states, four weeks. Other states, three weeks. Other states still pending, but you're going to get the money, so stay calm. Don't worry, you're absolutely going to get the money. Um, that goes on top of PUA and UI. Uh, will there be an extension of PUA and UI under the second stimulus package next week? I don't think so. I mean, I've not heard about that, so I don't think it's going to happen. What will happen in stage two? Stage two, 650, well, you'll see food stamps. You'll see money for food. Um, Steve Mnuchin has never pushed back on money for food, and that's been really the false narrative that the Temple of Doom has pushed. So, that you know, um, just not true. So great news to my viewers. They're always asking about food stamps. I see your comments. Great news. You're going to get more money for food. So this is incredible great news. Hazard pay, it's just, uh, I'm not going to sit here and say you're going to get hazard pay. I just, just, it just, it, it's like I'd rather roll craps in Las Vegas at that point. It's really just, it's too hard to predict at this point. Um, and there you go. Boy, um, a lot of shocking details. Now, what the big issue really at hand is whether or not. Democrats will sort of muddy what's going on now that we got cleared out of that federal deficit um, issue, taking up our time for the next 15 days. Will they muddy us up with stuff we don't need to hear? And that has been really the problem of the second stimulus package negotiations, that we're on a path, we're talking about FPC, we're talking about checks, and then suddenly we start hearing all this other stuff. It's just like, stop. It's like, wait a second. It's like a like a nag. It's like Medea walked in the scene. You know, Tyler Perry is like, hey, here I am. I'm like, just mm -mm, this is not that type of film. Is over there. It's just this, some obnoxiousness seems to always walk into the room when we're talking about second stimulus, and it's so simple. I mean, it's just checks and F. You see, it's so simple. Let's stop talking about other things. Let's hope that happens. Remember, these people have really changed with the wind. Mitch McConnell, no less than what? Two months ago, didn't want to give you any stimulus. Now he's the poster child to get you stimulus, saying we have to pass the bill next week. Mark Meadows was the person who said, you know, we'll just do by everything by executive order if you don't agree. Now he's reaching out to Democrats and Republicans in the House and the Senate to get bipartisan support and get it done right away. Uh, you know. Steve Mnuchin is the one that simply said, I'm not giving any money for state or local. How dare you? By the way, people ask me what's state and local. It means money for states, and local means money for cities. So like, like Los Angeles, D.C., Seattle, um, it doesn't come inherently right to the city, but sometimes it goes right to the state and the state gives to the city. Um, Mnuchin didn't want to give money to state and local this round. Well, Meadows is backed off of that and said, okay, you only need about $150 billion. I'll give you $300 billion, but we're not going to do that next week because we'll do the week after that. All really incredible great news. If you don't see the path of great news to this, then I'm sorry because this is perhaps the most reassuring moment in a week that started with what I told you was going to happen happening, but then you know, this is Thursday. It's really has, it's sort of floundered with not much more detail since Monday. And then we have this. As I told you, the situation changed very qu quickly and rapidly. And the first stimulus package, which I wasn't reporting at that time, people were negotiating in the middle of the night. There was hundreds of people negotiating on every nuance of every money. And I don't even think any channels even existed at the time really covering these type of issues. Now it's become sort of more micromanage with four people or three people or two people on two issues or three issues. So it's become very tight in a tight little box with a bow on it, which makes it easier for you to understand, but also makes it very easy for bad news reporters to tell you false narratives. So understand next week, it's a brand new bill. Two, it's not the skinny bill next week. Anyone calls it the skinny bill, including Mitch, including Chuck Schumer this afternoon, really needs to be reprimanded. It's not the skinny bill. That 
this is not that. Three, um, it's we're not on the Heroes Heroes Act or the Heels Act. So those bills are no longer really relevant. The the, the the focus of those bills still remain at issue, but they're not the bills that people are going to be working off of next week. Four, eviction moratorium won't be needed anymore because that was approved by CDC and it's codified by CDC. Watch that video as well. That doesn't mean anything for rent won't be approved. That's separate and apart from uh from that. Finally, hit that subscribe and alert button on this channel because boy, we are hitting the nails on the on the head. Hitting the heads on the nails? Hitting the... I okay, yeah. No, I'm not drinking yet, but it's after this news, I think I will. And I think you should too. Uh, <laughs> that comes up next. So please subscribe and like this channel. Um, uh, subscribe and hit the alert for this channel. Finally, like this video. Boy, the algorithm has not been a friend today. The algorithm has just been pushing us all around. I mean, I'm not happy if we're not number one. That's just, you know. Number three is just not cutting it on ranking. We're now the most watched a stimulus channel, so that's really great news. We're now the most watched. We're the, um, we're the most shared. We have the hard, longest watch time, which means more people people are on our channel watching stimulus than anyone else, but um, we don't lead on number of likes. So uh, we lead on subscribers and things like that, but not on likes. So hit those like buttons. Finally, coming up next is a big uh, broadcast. Tune in for that. I will go Q&A over the issues that you have been asking for, questions and answers. I'll answer as many as I can. As always, stay informed, stay smiling, and stay in LA for more. Thank you.